way does it have to go so south? Come on, keep her moving. Good morning everyone. We're taking shortcuts. We just left the farm here. We gotta get to a cornfield over there. Instead of taking the road, why not take a shortcut? Except we get everything muddy right out of the gate. We'll be fine though. The windows are getting more dirty on the inside than the outside. Look at my cute little feather duster. This is what I'm down to. These are a hot commodity this year. These guys have taken my nice big one. I'm down to this. But today I would say is our first considerable feels like the marathon is starting day done with soybeans now it is just time to start the grind of corn i don't know what's prettier the nice sunrise in my eyes that i can't see i'm gonna go with the lake view i'm gonna i'm calling it the lake view today it's beautiful it's actually the lake dad lives on i'd like to say i'd like to be out there on the pontoon but it's 41 degrees out so i'm gonna opt for the combine cab oh she is gooey out here Look at the ground. Oh, hello, good morning. Good morning, it's talking again, keeping me safe. One beef at a time. My goodness, we've got a giant tree limb I almost rammed my snouts into. Oh, this might be more than just a chat here. I need the Swede. Where's the Swede? Yes. Oh, it's morning work out there. Wow. The Iowa boys are fighting over the grain cart seat. We got Jordan today. Jordan is running the big 9R today. I told them they're gonna have to start splitting it up. I don't want no fights over the grain cart seat. Gonna have to start skipping days. hope the 9R makes it through that. I've stopped on this little dry knob here, but we're talking, this is this is up there with some of the worst conditions I've been in. This is, this is insane. The Iowa boys <laughs> are gonna find a whole new level to mud. It is just snot. sitting on load here because he's either going to need speed or to go the other direction because it gets much worse. Welcome to Minnesota mud. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an understatement. All right, hang back here until we get up around this curb and then full send to the driest spot. This is where it gets hair raising. Oh, we might have a stuck 9R. We might have a stuck 9R. He's crab steering it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let her eat, boy. Oh God, why? Lord, why does it have to go so south? Why does it have to go so south? It can go so good and then it can just get so bad. Come on, keep her moving. Will he make it? I know it's dirty. He got out. <laughs> We're done with the field, which is lake level. It's gotten really bad. Can I go home now? Oh, Brody's getting the mud off. This is all I got to clean off my steps. Quite hazardous trying to get in and out. Turn into more of a slide than a ladder. Well, we got done with it. I almost got the 9R stuck twice. So let's see what Eric knows. Oh, I stepped in it. You got the hook out. 
I gotta do something. Almost felt it. That all came off of the ladder. Nice. Oh, this is exciting. Went downhill very quickly. You know, you would think the landowner here would invest in some tile. Yeah, we should call him. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> oh. This is bringing back all bad memories. I think there's enough water in the ditch we can get that pump set up. The first time I seen it just going through and I knew what was coming and then this started developing, I knew exactly what we were in for. Yeah, might as well just weld the bracket onto this tractor, tractor for this thing. I'm going to need it after every field. You really got our money there, Big Sweet. Got to keep you guys empty. Brody didn't think it was too bad out here. I don't think it's said, terrible. Brody, whenever green carts are getting stuck almost, it's bad. They weren't getting stuck. That last they time? They weren't getting stuck. Not bad until you get a green cart stuck. That last time was close. When I came into MTU, I couldn't no. turn. There was two combines. It was... He was close. Yeah, well, that's a little <laughs> 9 RX. <laughs> I think he was going point four. <laughs> oh, what did he say? Is he all shook up? No. He had this empty bottle with him. That must be how he calms his nerves. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Uh, he, was, he said that one time when he was crab walking it out, literally right here. He said he was sweating. Oh, yeah. yeah I believe it. <laughs> now, when you see the mud, you turn on your AC seat and you just prepare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, off to the next one. Hopefully the next one's drier. Church quarter? The right. Lord will be with us on that field. <laughs> I'm going to work on this a little bit. I'll meet you over there. So this is the field that I told you guys about this spring that I purchased from a landlord. And it definitely needs more tile or needs to be tiled. But the biggest issue here is there's nowhere to dump. So that there's a ditch down there that the water actually backs in out of the lake into the field. So if I tile it, or when uh, I tile it, it's gonna be expensive because I'm gonna need electricity and a pump and a big pump at that. And maybe can't even do it. So we'll see, I guess. That's the end goal. By the time I retire, I hope to have this field tiled. <laughs> Should I just say it that way? All right, we're off to a field we've been in before and hopefully, hey Chris, hopefully it's drier, it is more well drained or it is drained very well so I know Randy's got the mud scraper down because look at big wheels leaving his big oh my so I don't know is it better to go slow for a while and let the mud go on for a mile or just hammer it right away and let the mud fly I'm kind of with let the mud fly right away so then it's easier to box scraper it into the field but it kind of can Big wheels can flip it up into his green tank. <laughs> oh, what has happened to the fall? So it's just like 2021. It's the exact same thing, only I think that was just a tad worse. And speak of the cleanup crew, there it is, awaiting its job. Bring her on back, boy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Cart's got a little bind there. I think they were cleaning on their tracks, trying to reduce friction on the road. I could definitely tell mine were pretty, they were rubbing. They were rubbing. If you look at that, another Lakeshore property. <laughs> With Lakeshore property comes this. Just the stupid curvy, curvy, curvy. With that being said, this gearing hop will beat the pants off that deer for doing curves. It's just amazing, actually. These short snouts and then the gathering chains that grab more aggressively are very impressive. Brody, I was yelling on the two-way. How did you just make that corner? It's like, it's my secret, Brody. If he knew, he'd steal my head. He'd steal my old combine then. Well, we were in and out of that other field very quickly. We ripped the headlands off, crossed the road, ripped more headlands off. We're trying to set up for tomorrow to have a huge day of harvest because we got another truck driver. Uh, he normally comes back every fall when he has vacation time and when we can line up just a lot of trucking needed. So we're on, well, we roughly have about 330 acres here in two different fields rip the headlands off because that's the time consuming part so tomorrow we'll be able to just knock out acres and have the trucking support 
before that. So hopefully we set ourselves up pretty good here. Unfortunately today, I guess I can't say it's a waste because you would have had to do the headlands anyways, but it really feels incomplete due to us not finishing, well we finished two fields. One field we were in before, so it don't really even feel like we finished that one. But yeah, slow day, but not wasting time. I'm trying to make it more efficient for tomorrow. Nonetheless, we're finally going back and forth. It took forever, like three hours of headlands. It was horrible. <laughs> because we wanted to quit, but we're out of fuel and it is 9.30 at night, so I suppose it's time to go home and get some sleep. Look at how much trash is building up on my header. Tops of the plants are breaking off. Roadies is the same way. Terrible. Yeah, I picked that off. Visibility was getting poor, very poor. Just like the day, the night is beautiful. Nice air temperature, nice clear night. Yeah, here's my fuel level. Blinking at zero and 0.2 of an hour left of fuel. So, that's close enough for me. Nothing like some free hand steering to top off the cart. I don't got much left though. She should fit, we'll have four loads ready for the morning while we dig mud out of tracks. That time of the, the fall, can't wait. Should be exciting. Make sure you uh, check the next video out. It'll be a fun experience, I promise. See you later, 9RX. Line them up for fuel in the morning. Always point your glass into the sun so that it burns the dew off in the morning. Works really well, actually. Now I get my little uh, disappointment towel out. <laughs> if I catch the guy that took my nice one, I'm stealing it back. like the sire, it's nimble. It gets into the spots really nice. Oh, are you the guy that took mine? I it. Here, I'll trade. This is mine. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, don't let him fool you. You guys were using mine the other day. I took it back. He stole it back from the guy that stole it from me. All right, guys. We'll see you in the morning in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and see you guys.